So I think it's good to go for startup session. Uh, Salam alaikum. Good morning, all the wonderful uh, you know reseller partners community who joined this session. And uh, myself, my name is Arumal. I am the product specialist for motor data from Bulwark Distribution. And uh, along with me, uh, Mr. Angit, who is actually the regional sales manager for the Middle East. Uh, from the uh, motor data team and also Mr. Vimal is also joined from the technical team. So the agenda for today's session is actually uh, give a complete overview about the uh, both the work and uh, motor data and what are the products we are offering. And also uh, we will uh, you know give a competitive edge about the different uh, functionalities and unique features about the product. And also what are the different partner program and uh, what are the offerings we are offering from motor data and also it will cover the incentive schemes and also uh, we will give a glimpse about the uh, an overview about the both uh, motor data you know network monitoring solution and also the IT service management solution and at the end of the uh, presentation and the session we will have a q and a session so all the uh, different partner uh, you know individuals can uh, raise your queries related to the product and features about motor data and uh, we having a you know uh, chat option available for all the uh, attendees you can raise your queries to all the panelists and uh, uh, that can be uh, do in between the session and also the end of the session we can clarify your you know queries and uh, doubts related to the products and uh, at the end of the session, we are also conducting a, a valuable feedback survey. So it will be formed that will be uh, automatically open up at the end of this uh, session. So I'm just requesting all of you to fill in the your valuable feedback about this session. So moving further to the company overview, uh, the work is actually an award-winning uh, cybersecurity value at distribute for this region. Started out of 1999, so we celebrating our 22nd successful, uh, you know, year of cybersecurity excellence in this region. And we are actually one of the privately held and profitable since we started, representing around uh, 30 plus different uh, technology vendors and their complete product and uh, service portfolio. We work as a company, we're operating in GCG countries uh, and also KSA in India. We have a local presence and we are uh, managing around 500 plus different partners across the complete region. We are partnered with Motor Data for their complete portfolio from 2021. Dedicated sales, marketing, technical team, and also certified technical engineers for motor data for the valuable support for the partners and also the end customers, anything related to the motor data services. So I'm just handovering to Ankit, who can just continue the presentation from the next uh, point. Over to him. Thank you, Aramul. Hello, everyone. This is Ankit. I'm taking care of the Middle East market for motor data. Just bear with my voice today because I have some total infection. So we'll start with the company introduction about motor data. So who we are, where we are coming from, our strength, our expertise, the kind of products that we are having. And I'll drive you through uh, our journey. To the present portfolio that we have about the product solution. So we started around 12 years back. It's more than a decade old organization. And we are completely driven by innovation and technology. So around two years or uh, you know for the, the, the company formers they spend around two years into R and D. They developed the first product which called Minder. And since then we have continually improving our solutions. So we have two solutions. One is the network monitoring solution, which is the unified platform for, you know, monitoring all your logs, metrics, and traces. Another solution is the ITL driven IT services management solution. So these are the two solutions that we are having. We are operating in more than 25 countries. As of now, we have a workforce around 200 people. We have 250 plus channel partners 
and we have 5000 plus customers we are operating in different verticals including the telecom that is the service provider the internet service provider the data service provider also the bandwidth service providers we also uh, uh, you know given our solutions to many of the government entities many of the state by ftts projects smart city based projects surveillance based projects and we have also given our solution to many of the enterprise grade customers be it bfsi or manufacturing or healthcare or hospitality or education so we have given the solutions across the different industry verticals as far as the recognitions are concerned so we are into the gartner as a representative vendor for market guide for uh, automation and orchestration we have been given deloitte fast 50 awards since last three consecutive years so you can see how exponentially we are growing as an organization and our network monitoring solution is also recognized by idc and infotech research group as a notable vendor into the monitoring space and we have also been given ci tech brand award in 2018 and we move to the next slide so as i was mentioning the two product solutions that we are having one is the ai ops another one is the service ops so for both the solutions what we have done is we have tried to give a unified user experience for both the applications that we have so both the products are on premise solutions that can be deployed over bare metal or a vmware or a private cloud both the solutions come with the bundled iso file there is one of the usps that we are having so it eliminates the need of any third party database because the bundled iso file has the application the os and the database bundled within the same package it's a linux based application now for the ai ops we have given the unified user experience for all your infra monitoring requirement it also covers the log and flow monitoring and it also covers the network configuration management all these three modules are bundled within the same solution so user can truly have a unified experience but at the same time they can pay and use whichever module they would like to so this is the one solution that we have another one is the iti compliant it services management solution there also we are having a unified experience wherein we are giving the ticketing solution the asset management and the patch management solution within the same platform within the same product so here we are giving all the modules of a ticketing solution which is the service desk so there we are giving incident request problem change release knowledge and project management and we are also giving the asset management solution wherein user will be able to manage all their IT assets, non IT assets, hardware assets. Also, the software asset management is possible. Apart from that, contract management, purchase management, and the remote desktop is also part of the same product. So, this was about a brief on the products in the next slides. We can, you know, highlight some more uh, from the modular. Phase approach. So here you can see for the network monitoring aspect, we are having network monitoring, database monitoring, URL monitoring, server monitoring, VMware monitoring, cloud monitoring, everything that you can do at the same console and the same platform. Since we are using all the native protocols, you know, uh, we can monitor all the different devices of different make and model. Okay, we don't have any restriction on that. So, as I mentioned, this will give a true unified experience to the user. Apart from that, we have also incorporated log monitoring, be it server logs or sys logs or application logs or any network log or any in house application which can be which might have been developed indigenously by the client. The logs of those applications can also be monitored. We also incorporated flow monitoring for end to end traffic monitoring. So, like S flow, Net flow, version 5, version 9, and J flow is also incorporated within the same platform. And the configuration management for all the configurable devices like switches, router, and firewall that is also possible to make it within the same platform. So, we have the NCM module to which you will be able to you know, manage all the configurable devices, their backups. Uh, restore backup compare the backups all the logs can be monitored so 
whichever activity which was performed restore the last backups so everything that you can do within the same console itself this is the one product that we have now another one which we are having is a service ops platform which is the ipl compliant id service management solution <coughs> so here we are having all the modules of the ticketing platform so we can you know give a complete service desk platform or if the client needs only help desk we can give that as well because as a help desk is is a kind of subset of the service desk platform so here we are providing all the ticketing modules that includes the incident and the request management problem management change management service catalog then we also have project management module we are giving we also are giving release management module we have a conversational ai chatbot available and there are different ways to generate the ticket there are more than one ways to generate the ticket one is being email to ticket then one can call the technician and place the ticket to an ai chatbot one can you know place a ticket then we have the integration with whatsapp and telegram and slack and teams so user can also place a ticket through these kind of channels then a third party application uh, ticket can also be possible like for many of our customers we are giving the pre integrated suite so they opt for the complete suite of network monitoring and a ticketing platform so what will happen is if there is any device going down from the network monitoring uh, product so ticket can be automatically generated into the ticketing platform once the technician closes the ticket you know it will reflect to the nms uh, portal as well so it's a kind of a complete end to end automation is something that we can provide at many places we have provided this kind of end to end automation plus both the solutions we are having are readily available with their open apis so let's say if somebody is using already using any application for the monitoring aspects and they would like to integrate it with the ticketing platform or vice versa they are having any ticketing solution in place and they would like to you know integrate our monitoring solution with them so it is possible to integrate through the apis that we are having another thing is we are very really flexible in terms of the approach and the implementation as i mentioned we are ready to integrate these solutions with any third party platform and ready to take some forward calls and the customization depending on the case to case basis since we are having the <coughs> modular based approach and we are also having the pat uh, the customization so like uh, we have uh, you know a different plugins so for both the platforms we are having the plugin driven architecture so for the network monitoring solution we have plugins out of the box available for all the different make and model and uh, of the devices and all the leading databases all the os for these we have the plugins available which is stored in this server so how it actually function is like as we install the application into the mobile devices and we can start you know uh, running through the application and playing within the application the same way we can install a plugin within our server and get the particular device or application being monitored so the advantage of this is tomorrow if there is any new device coming into the market or the customer is having any new application which is uh, you know uh, comparatively new and will not be accommodated within the same version of the solution we don't need to wait for another version to be released we just can develop a plugin and have the device being monitored same kind of scenario is also there with the service ops platform we have different plugins you can create and you can automate different tasks we also have some of the key features available in the service ops platform that goes like uh, we have a color coding mechanism uh, which is available for the manual assignment of the ticket so an admin can see a color coded technician in red orange and green which shows the occupancy of a technician so red being highly occupied orange is some is you know a bit occupied and green shows that the technician is available so through which uh, a manual assignment of the ticket is possible for admin we also have the auto assignment uh, mechanism available 
and the algorithm available for that. Apart from that, some of the other features that we are providing are for the asset management. We are providing barcode and QR code generation facility. So the QR code can be, you know, generated from the system. We can stick it to the particular device or an asset. This is a uh, highly, you know, uh, uh, I mean, a high requirement for the scenarios wherein the technicians has to go on site. The assets are there in the on site and it is difficult to track the configurations of the asset. We have the mobile application available for the ITSM solution. So what can be done is a QR code or a barcode which is ticked to the particular asset. Technician can go scan the asset and all the configuration and all the information related to the particular asset he will be able to see. So the a QR code and a barcode generation facility is there. We have a complete purchase management mechanism available in the asset management solution and we also have a contract management available as well. Apart from that, we have a remote desktop <coughs> facility available. So what can be done is a technician can take the remote from the console itself. Okay. And he can troubleshoot the end user machine. So a remote desktop facility is having file sharing mechanism, audio calling and video calling mechanism is also available. So through the remote desktop, which is developed in house by our team itself. So we are providing the remote desktop uh, functionality as part of the solution itself. Okay. Uh, we are not charging anything extra. So let's say a client is having 500 asset license. He will be given uh, the, uh, you know, he'll be able to have the RDP for the 500, asset, 500 assets as well. So this was about the solutions that we are having. Now, can we go to the next slide? So this is in brief, you can see about the modules in a graph and a pictorial manner. So as I mentioned, you can see the IT ops platform, which is having three modules incorporated within the same platform. One is the network performance monitoring. Second is the network configuration management. Third is the data analytics platform, which is for the log and flow monitoring. Now for the network performance monitoring, you will be able to monitor everything within your infra. So this will eliminate the need of going different modular these approach for the performance monitoring like you might be aware like uh, we have modular these approach for the different vendors uh, yeah i am coming i'll i'll i'm coming to the licensing part so uh, with the other vendors you might go need to go for network device monitoring and a, a, a license uh, then you, uh, you want to monitor server and a database so you can you, you know you have to opt for a different modular license for server and database monitoring with motor data it is not the case let's say you have thousand device monitoring license it can be used as a blend of different monitoring aspects be it your network devices or your server or your virtual machine or a database or a url monitoring you will be able to, you know, uh, use this license in this way. You don't need to come to us to buy separate license for database monitoring and separate license for network device monitoring and a separate license for server monitoring. No, the license policy, how it works is <clears throat> it's a device based license. So one device, one IP, one license. So let's say there is a switch of 48 ports. So we calculate one license for a particular switch and still will show all the KPIs of all the 48 ports. Okay. So it's not a sensor based or an interface based license. It's a device based license. And this is not a SaaS based solution. It is an on premise solution, but it can be deployed over a private cloud as well. So this is one module of the IT ops. Second module is the network configuration management. As I mentioned, it is for all the configurable devices like switches, router and firewall to manage all the configuration backups, restore backups, comparison of the backups and see uh, what all changes that might have been made through the logs in terms of the backups. 
so this module is also incorporated within the same platform data analytics platform is for the log monitoring and flow monitoring so for all your logs like server logs is logs application logs you will be able to monitor all your flows net flow version 5 version 9 j flow s flow you will be able to monitor within the same platform so these are the three modules part of the same product so this way we give a unified experience but at the same time let's say a client would like to go for only network performance monitoring they opt only for the network performance monitoring part they will not pay for the ncm and dap license in the future if they would like to enhance and uh, you know incorporate dap license as well within the same solution we will be able to incorporate that enhancement they don't have to go for uh, different license on different installation so we are using a clickhouse database which is a time uh, series based database okay and the particular database uh, you know is also uh, flexible and the product is uh, flexible to restore the data for a longer period of time so let's say for the last six months or a year or a two year if client would like to restore the backup for two years as well so that is a possibility to retain the data for a longer period of time without hampering the performance of the application okay of course the hardware uh, storage has to support accordingly but we can retain the raw data in its raw format not the compressed format so all the information can be stored generally from the bfs segment customers we come across this kind of requirement of you know restoring the data for a longer period of time more than one year or two years so that is a possibility so this was about the network monitoring solution that we have <clears throat> now coming to the service ops platform so there we are having um, a full-fledged ticketing solution wherein we are providing incident and request management problem management change management release management service catalog knowledge management then we also provide project management functionality as part of the service desk platform and we are providing asset management as i mentioned earlier with functionalities of asset management asset and cmdb management purchase management contract management and the remote desktop facility okay patch management solution is also part of the same product patch management as of now we are giving is for the windows and linux os patches for both endpoints and servers we are also giving packet deployment facility so again here for the service ops platform as well we are having ticketing solution asset management solution both at the same platform so if client would like to go for only ticketing solution they can opt for only ticketing solution and if client would like to go for complete ticketing plus asset management they can go for that the advantage of going with the <coughs> complete suite will be within the same platform there is a correlation possible with, between the ticket and the asset so let's say any ticket is coming for a particular asset so it will be linked to a particular asset the technician can see the ticket is related to a particular asset and through the remote desktop facility if needed he can take the remote and he can do the troubleshooting all the different correlation between the incidents and uh, request with the other modules like problem and change is possible now all these modules have been developed considering the itil standard our solution is itil compliant and we have six processes pink verified so pink verification is the body which gives the pink verification certificate for different processes based on the itil compliance so our solution is itil compliant and as i mentioned there are different key features which i uh, narrated earlier like uh, color coding for the you know ticket assignment auto assignment of the tickets qr code barcode generation mobile application available 
Now here the licensing policy, how it works is for the ticketing solution. It is based on the number of technicians who are working on the tickets. There can be n number of requesters. So we can have different uh, requesters, n number of requesters, but the license will be only based on the number of technicians. So if you are having 10 technicians and 5,000 requesters, you have to pay for the 10 technician license only. For the asset management, it is based on the number of IT assets and the non-IT assets. Okay. For the patch management, it is based on the endpoints and servers for the patch management. But as I mentioned, <coughs> patch management we are having as of now is for the Windows and Linux OS patches. We will be having the Mac OS patches soon by September end. Can we go to the next slide? So these are all the modules and features available uh, for the service of platform. Many of which I already uh, you know told you. So all these uh, ticketing related modules are available as part of the service desk or a help desk solution. All the asset management related module like purchase and contract and asset uh, and CMDB management uh, are available as part of the asset management and Windows and OS, uh, Linux OS patches, package deployment, window registry management and dashboard and reporting are available as part of the patch management module. Now for the service desk and help desk, the ticketing solution, we are giving two options for user to opt for. If they have a requirement on, of only incident and a request management module, they can go for the help desk solution, which is a cheaper option, which is a subset of service desk platform wherein they get only the incident and the request management module knowledge management uh, the sla functionality and the workflow and the reporting if they also need a full-fledged solution like contract management problem management release management project management they can go for the full-fledged service desk platform so with the ticketing solution we are giving these two options from the licensing point of view from the asset management point of view uh, asset baselining is something I missed in my last part. So what asset baselining means, you can, you can baseline the asset, like you can set a standard criteria with the asset. So let's say you have different departments, one among which is the designing department, wherein you need a high configuration of the machines, wherein you have, you know, X amount of RAM is required, X amount of uh, CPU is required, and uh, processor is required and a storage is required you just baseline the asset my this particular department should have this configuration any device is deviating from this baseline concept you will get the alert okay so uh, within the entire department system will you know uh, do this uh, baselining coverage and it will show the indication, give you the indication. You can baseline the asset for the software assets as well. So uh, for the asset management, we are charging uh, based on the number of uh, IT assets, but within the same asset, you will also be uh, showing you uh, the applications available into particular machines. So you can baseline the software asset in a way you can you know have the restricted softwares or you can also have a must have softwares and if device is deviating from this it will show the alert so let's say for example teams is the must have software and should be installed into the devices if it is not installed it will give you an indication or alert and for example youtube is a restricted software if it is being installed in the particular asset it will also again give you an uh, indication so this is how asset management uh, the baselining of the asset will work then we also have a uh, auto discovery of the <coughs> asset wherein all the ip based assets the it assets can be auto discovered and you know we also have the active directory integration so all the users can also be imported through the active directory and we have the workflow automation, which is a very powerful tool 
wherein you can you know create different workflow and it will trigger based on the particular action being being you know uh, or particular scenario being generated so let's say you have put in a logic of some x and y uh, trigger is generated you have set a workflow of performing a particular task so that can be performed so this is this way you can eliminate different manual based uh, you know work and you can automate the task for example uh, there is a standard workflow of any employee is being onboarded so there are uh, you know three departments like hr department admin department uh, and accounts department are having a particular task to be completed hr to onboard the uh, new employee you know and do the induction admin uh, to give them a particular devices like laptop and all and accounts to create their accounts and all you can create a kind of a workflow wherein any new request is being triggered of new employee you know coming to the uh, organization the workflow will be automatically triggered so this way you can create different workflows which will trigger based on the logic that you have set and you could truly utilize the potential of the solution at its best plus the solution is also having a dynamic form generation so any of the module that you have the dynamic form generation is possible and you can create different forms let's say for the request you can create different forms like you can just you know play around and you can put text box or uh, any other uh, of form fields and you can play around of, if, with it and you can change these forms as and when required you don't need to go to the code level so we are giving the dynamic form uh, generation facility as well as part of the solution can we go to the next slide so as i mentioned the capabilities covers the unified monitoring complete visibility compliance reporting business slas automation and ease of integration like business slas which are the service level agreement is available as part of both the solutions network monitoring solution as well as the itsm solution so you'll be able to create different slas and you can also create a report on sla breach so you so that you can see let's say you have set a standard of 95% you know uh, time that you should you know match the uh, request and if it is deviating you can create different reports uh, you can also set uh, you know escalation matrix on the different slas let's say for the ticketing platform you have set an sla of giving a response and resolving a ticket within 24 hours or 48 hours if it is not happening what can be the next level of escalation okay let's say then it will go to the senior technician if it is still not resolving what can be the next level of escalation it will go to the technician manager so this kind of escalation matrix that you can set and you can set this kind of slas based on the different criteria of the tickets alert mechanism there is there as part of the monitoring platform so we have the alert mechanism for sms alert and email alerts okay and uh, as i mentioned the ease of integration as both the solutions we are having are are available with the open apis we can also incorporate an api or integrate the api of any third party application as well if needed uh, this will be on a case to case basis we need to check the scenario so that because in that case we need to do uh, code level uh, you know customization we might need to create a plugin but it is possible to do that so this is how you know uh, it differentiate us from the other uh, vendors uh, in the market because we are highly flexible in terms of uh, taking the integration aspect into the picture and also taking uh, any uh, automation or any other level of customization Uh, within the solution can we go to the next slide <coughs> as i mentioned both the solutions we have 
are on premise solution but it can be de deployed over bare metal or a vmware or a private cloud generally people prefer to go on a vmware because the hardware requirement is directly proportional to the boq let's say somebody has opt for 500 device monitoring license considering the next one year or two years of uh, uh, you know uh, expansion but after two to three years let's say their device uh, is reaching to 750 or 1000 they would like to extend the license they will opt have to opt for a another level of uh, hardware requirements so with vmware it will be possible for them to increase the hardware requirement but we provide all these three kind of deployments bare metal vmware and then on premise deployment of the solution now both the solutions are available in the on premise version only as of now but we are working for the SaaS based mod, uh, module for the ITSM solution. So our ITSM solution will soon be available in the SaaS version, but it will take around a couple of quarters. Now the industries that we have served. So we have given the solution in many industries because the solution IT ops and you know the service of both the platforms are kind of a need of an art okay. and every uh, kind of organization would like to automate their operation would like to better monitor their infra because every organization must have an infra nowadays and also it will be easier for them to have a system in place to automate their operation because if a mean time to response is high it will you know, result in a high cost, be it uh, a BFSI customer or a government customer or a healthcare customer. People, you know, are reluctant to have an increase MTTR because that will hamper their cost. And that is the main reason why they are now opting for uh, an operation, you know, uh, platform like this. So we have given our solution to BFSI segments and customers like United Arab Bank from Dubai. Uh, even from the domestic market, we have given it to many prominent customers, including the SBI, Kotak, uh, Muthut Finance, Union Bank, all different BFSI segment customers. We have given the solution and we have done the deployments in the range of more than 12,000 devices and more than 25 GB of log per day monitoring. So you can see the kind of scalability and robustness available within the system. Within the same installation, one installation, it will be you know uh, able to cater to this kind of uh, monitoring aspects. Uh, we don't need to have separate servers and different installations in order to cater to the high uh, requirement in terms of the monitoring devices. We have given it to many government entities as well. Uh, one of the Abu Dhabi government entity, the Abu Dhabi Sports Council, one of the entity in Bahrain, uh, we have given the ITSM uh, solution uh, within the Saudi as well. We have given it to uh, one of the uh, entity which is responsible to develop the pilgrimage infrastructure, which is the Rual Medina Holdings. They are our customers. Uh, then we have Ariad Holdings as our customer from Saudi. Uh, we've also uh, recently we are implementing it for one of the uh, other entity ACES from Saudi a civil services bureau again as I mentioned a government entity from Bahrain uh, we have uh, given our solution we have deployed our solution so many of the government entities we have given our solution here in domestic market we are one among the leaders and we have given the solution to more than 30 smart city based projects to government wherein collectively they are monitoring more than 60,000 nodes with different uh, you know deployments based on the different smart city so there are 30 different smart city based projects some of which are already completed some of them are having the implementation going on plus we have given to many of the government uh, entities like railways so we have given it to one of the units of the railways in terms of uh, you know uh, the monitoring and the asset management aspects and we have also given it to PSUs like Indian Oil and uh, ONGC 
so this was from the government from healthcare as well we have given it to many prominent customers that includes the emirates healthcare emirates hospital okay from the uh, middle east market in the domestic market also we have given it to many of the healthcare customers education fraternity we have given it to al karama school they are using our asset management solution and the ticketing solution from dubai again from the uae market we have given it to khawarizmi international college so that there they are using our itsm solution you know to manage three of their different branches and they are managing it very effectively through the solution we have given it to manufacturing customers that includes jindal steel maruti suzuki and apart from this we have also given it to many other prominent names like molaja then we have do telecom from the uh, you know uh, telecom on service provider uh, fraternity we have given it to mauritius telecom we have given it to mtnl airtel idea and vodafone from domestic market are also our lead uh, one of our customers uh, 711 and uh, other Uh, many of the customers that we have so this is just a, a glimpse of the uh, key customers that we have so we have a proven track record of uh, you know providing uh, uh, successful implementation uh, to many of the clients across the different industry verticals can we move to the next slide so this is something that a competitive edge that we had worked upon um, Uh, from this is based on the data that we have received with a close ended group uh, of people that covers uh, our partners from different region from the middle east market uh, specifically from the uae oman and bahrain region and uh, the uh, customers Uh, of the partners to whom we kind of interacted, so we collectively developed this matrix wherein we have given features as x axis and the cost as y axis, and we have tried to position different solutions. So you can see solutions uh, like BMC and Microfocus, which are uh, high cost solutions. They are uh, having good amount of features catered to the customers' requirement. At the same time. they also fall into the fourth quadrant of high cost high feature uh, quadrant while uh, in many of the uh, features as compared to uh, you know motor data uh, which is lacking in terms of uh, the manage engine and solar winds and also in terms of the costing part so here you can see uh, motor data will fall into the place of uh, you know a compare competitive uh, cost product with high features so as i <laughs> mentioned we don't have a modular based approach so and also we are giving a highly scalable solution so if you see the total cost of ownership which eliminates different uh, modules to be installed different servers to be managed and different team team to manage it the tco will be very low when you know you see the overall picture so that's where we fall into uh, the quadrant of uh, high feature low cost solution next slide now coming to the partner benefits uh, the the now he, from here we'll kind of cover the slides uh, which will of which will be of your interest as a partner what you are going to get what kind of benefits we are going to you know provide it to the partners and what are the other steps you can expect while partnering you know with uh, motor data so we'll give a certified sales and technical technical training competitive pricing strategies incentives and rewards and initiatives for lead generation marketing co branded collaterals and partner portal access we'll cover up this in the coming slides can we go to the next slides okay so we have a clearly defined flow of you know a partner wherein we have a four stage 
cultivation process starting from the identification of a key partners which should be a best fit to enable the partner engage them and then grow you know hand in hand like a partner will grow the distributor will also grow and motor data will also grow so it's a kind of a win 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 situation for all of us so first stage is to identify the partners best fit partner who complement our product solution who are interested in selling our solution so this is the first step so if the product solution that you have seen is suitable for you and you you know uh, your expertise complement our product solution so we are kind of a best fit and we can think of you know uh, partnering and this is the first process of identification so once you decide to partner with mota data and we work what we'll do is we'll have an enablement session done for you so we have a complete enablement session for your sales team we'll also enable you from a technical point of view uh, of course from the technical point of view bulwark team is having the pre sales capabilities mota data team is also having the pre sales capabilities so we'll provide all the technical support from our end we'll have you the sales enablement done will give you a thorough understanding about the product so that you can go into the market and pitch the product so this is the next steps now after this step you have all the knowledge okay you have all the resources with you then for the name from here the next step will be for the engagement so we'll try and generate the leads through you you can come up with the leads uh, register the lead we'll work on these leads and we'll try to close it together so in order to generate the leads there are different ways be it for the email campaign or the newsletters or webinars emailers so our marketing team is there they are very active and any time you need any marketing co letters co branded emailers any of the flyers you can just request uh, one week in advance and we'll provide all these things to you so let's say if you want to plan uh, an emailer for bfsi segment or a healthcare segment from next week you just request it this week our marketing team uh, you know will provide you uh, this uh, emailers so apart from that as i mentioned technical assistance will be there uh, joint sales assistance will be there and so from you know identification of the leads and uh, having the requirement discussion being done from this time to uh, the lead closure time we'll always uh, be with you for the end to end sales life cycle we'll also can do the joint campaigns any event that you would like to organize uh, or any uh, other customer feedbacks uh, so these kind of engagement session will do together we can also have some paid events then on a regular intervals after this stage we'll see some traction we can see some uh, revenue uh, achievements we can you know expect some closures we then uh, thicken our funnel we'll increase our funnel so that our chances of you know revenue generation will increase more so on a quarter to quarter basis we'll try and generate more funnel and more business so this is how the four stage process of uh, you know from the identification to growing together as a partner distributor and as a vendor this is how we kind of you know perform the task and work together with our partners can we go to the next slide <coughs> okay from the essentials of getting onboarded the partner giving them a certified professional certificate advanced technical training and continuous learning so as i mentioned you will get all the support from sales aspect marketing aspect and the technical aspect okay since uh, uh, we already have the uh, technical expertise with distributor and us not many of the partner will go for the product training in order to do the poc and all you can bank on bulwark or uh, our team for that matter but we'll do the partner enablement from you know giving you an access to the partner portal 
making you aware about the lead generation part you can also access different marketing collaterals and other aspects that you can do from the partner portal will give you a thorough sales training to educate you on the sales pitch on the different industries that you can go on the different verticals and how should you should function or work on different vertical clients okay so this will make your sales team enable to go into the market and pitch the product confidently identify the key differentiators and also pitch them and as i mentioned marketing activities you can also uh, you know uh, do with the help of our marketing team now with the partner portal key features are you can have the deal registration target management easy access to the marketing collaterals all the collaterals are there managing the team performance so we create one admin user for you as a partner let's say you have a team of five five people an admin can create five different accounts uh, within him so he can manage all the team members of these five people of the partner all these five people will be able to then register the deal access the marketing collaterals they can you know uh set their targets they can see the achievements and performance achievements of them manage the opportunity life cycle and everything they will be able to manage through the partner portal it is very important to use this partner portal uh, effectively because all your deal registration will happen here and uh, for the, uh, the the partner coming up with the deal uh, you know uh, for the uh, Uh, first time i mean uh, they will be given the commercial protection so whoever registers the deal first uh, it will be case locked against the particular partner so th- that is why while working on any particular opportunity it is very uh, you know uh, essential for you guys to uh, create a lead into the partner portal that will make sure like uh, you are the first one to come up with the uh, deal registration and will be gov- given the commercial protection can we go to the next slide so as i mentioned uh, we can have joint marketing activities like email marketing we can have the events like this we can have an online events or we can also have on site events we can also have some paid events at times we can have these giveaways like specifically with the on site paid events digital campaigns we can do and we can do co marketing activities so these are all the different ways for us to you know support you in increasing the presence brand awareness and generating the lead for both you and us some of the success stories uh, from our uh, partners as i mentioned we have more than 250 channel partners we are a channel driven organization we work through our channel only so how we perform this is only for the i'm considering the international market scenario only because you know uh, it doesn't relate to the uh, domestic one but we registered a growth of around 400% last year from the international market for, through our channel business itself we on boarded more than 30 partners 40 plus trainings we have done 10 plus partner lunch and learn sessions we did on site 25 plus webinars we have conducted more than eight industry events that we have, we have you know done so we are operating into the middle east market some of the africa countries sark region and also the south asia market we are functioning so this is data is collectively for all these regions and we are not considering the domestic market mind you domestic market is still one we are one among the leaders we have many many more partners uh, working for us into the domestic market we have four prominent regions north uh, west south and east regions uh, wherein we have divided our business uh, but we are also trying to replicate the same amount of growth into in the international market and i guess we are moving in the right direction we have registered a growth rate of this uh, kind from last 2 to 3 years last year as i mentioned we registered around 400% growth in the international market and this year we are you know trying to 
register more more growth as compared to the last one so uh, we 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 are a growing organization we are having very good uh, acceptance and feedback about our product we just need right kind of a partner with right mindset so that we can grow together one of the advantage that we are having is we are kind of a challenger and that's how uh, we are more flexible in terms of our technical uh, aspects and also from the commercial point of view next slide so this was it uh, from my end uh, you know so any questions uh, we can we can consider uh, the questions no both solutions are different so these are two different products database monitoring is possible database job monitoring sessions monitoring both are possible database is supported you mean to say the monitoring of the different databases right yes mysql ms sql oracle all the database monitoring is possible software metering is available yes as part of the asset management solution software asset management is there wherein we provide the facility of software metering and uh, you can you know meter the software you can have this metering done for a particular software and you can see the utilization of the software specifically the paid softwares within your organization so that you can better check how much effective utilization is done yes customer can opt only asset management if he requires he doesn't need to opt for the uh, ticketing solution so as i mentioned this the the experience is unified but at the same time if client would like to use only one module they can pay for one module and use that module so he doesn't need to pay uh, for the ticketing solution if he is not requiring ticketing solution just pay for the asset management and he can, he can use asset management independently how licensed okay for the <coughs> itsm solution ticketing solution is licensed based on the number of technicians as i mentioned it, irrespective of the number of requesters and uh, for the asset management it is based on the number of it assets and non it assets for the patch management it is based on the number of endpoints and the servers for network monitoring solution network performance monitoring is based on the device based license log and flow monitoring is per gb per day data utilization network configuration management based on the number of configurable devices asset repository in terms of uh, are you talking about the inventory or see for patch we have a centralized repository at motor data server we keep on you know we check it uh, whether all the patches are updated so that is centrally we are checking so the the repository is there with the motor data server here and uh, then we can you know push the patches from here so we we just you know take from the windows and linux we keep on having the updated repository for the patches so that is lying in uh, the, the the central motor data the server for the patch see as of now we majorly face the competition with manage engine sometimes solar winds as well so manage engine and solar winds yeah they are kind of the key competition you can say as of now see uh, with manage engine with both the solutions as as if you uh, you must be aware about the manage engine offerings they have all the different offerings from the modular point of view okay so you opt for one thing for the second one you might need to go for a module for the third one you might also need to go for another module so they have this modular based approach 
we are having a unified approach like for the monitoring aspects we are giving everything in the performance monitoring 200 device monitoring licenses there you can use it as a blend of different monitoring be it your server database job or network devices okay you don't need to come to us and buy different modules for network performance monitoring and a server monitoring and a database monitoring log and flow monitoring is also part of the same platform this is for the enemies for the itsm first key differentiator is we are six pink verified processes company they are four three to four pink verified processes company solar means is two pink verified processes company pink verification is directly proportional to ITSM, uh, I sorry, ITIL compliance. So we are more ITIL compliant than managed engine. Plus, ITSM solution also we are giving unified approach, ticketing and asset at the same platform. Ticketing also, if you opt for service desk, we are giving all the modules, not different modules for problem change and release, and you need to pay differently. Again, asset management, we are covering the remote desktop as part of the asset management in our offering. You go with Manage Engine, you buy the asset management, and you also need remote desktop, you purchase it separately. So these are key differentiators. Uh, some of the few I narrated, there are many more. So that's how if we engage on a, a session regularly, you also can have one to one session. We educate your team and about the differentiation factors that we have against manage engine. And this is how we compete against them. The other thing is also about the support. We have our in-house support team. And we are giving a very good support. There are few of the cases we uh, have a displacement with manage engine. We you know, kind of onboarded the customer just because of the support that they were not happy with the support and also the kind of, you know, responses they were getting because there were some issues in the product. So this is how we are kind of, you know, competing against managing. Any other questions? If we don't have any other questions, we can conclude, I guess. So it's a wonderful uh, you know to really good even though uh, you are in a thank you for the uh, I think uh, there are uh, a good number of questions also as well from the partners so once again I thank you for all the you know valuable partner with point and uh, the entire moderator team especially Ankit and Kavit Shivani and also the uh, Sonali for organizing this event in a wonderful manner. And I thank uh, Ibrahim, my uh, country head coach, uh, Casey, who is uh, coordinating for all the kind of participation. Uh, overall, the event was uh, very well, and I'm very happy that on that. So for any kind of queries, you can always contact uh, either uh, my contact, like this or Ibrahim's contact details for any kind of query with the motor data. We are happy to deliver any kind of support in terms of the demos, POCs, for taking with the end customers. Also on a on an interest basis, we are also happy to delivering uh, individual sessions to all of the uh, you know uh, partners. Thank you and have a uh, wonderful day.